So, 3-5. I kind of already gave you a hint on this one, last section, all right? Those last few, I put the stars by and said, hey, you can actually go further sometimes. That's what we're doing here. So, you already had a preview. So, this 16 to 1 half can be written as this, but we wouldn't leave it like that. We would write it as 4. Okay? 16 to 1 4 can be written like that, but we would not leave it like that because the 4 through 16 is 2. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Okay? Same thing here. The square root of 64 is 8. And the sixth root of 64 is 2, because 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 64. So, we always want to make sure if we can go further. So, 8 to the 2 thirds can be written like this. But there is an advantage to writing it like this with a parenthesis. Because you can take the cube root of 8. The cube root of 8 is 2. And the 2 squared is 4. So this actually is the same thing as 4. This is the same thing as 4. They're all <coughs> equal, they're all equal signs. Okay? 32 to the 4 fifth. Well, if we write it like this in the parentheses, the fifth root of 32 is 2. And the 2 to the 4th is 16. Okay, so right off the bat, 36 to 1 half, we really don't have to write it as a radical, but we can first. That means the square root of 36. So what is that? 6. It's simply 6. So 4 to 3 halves, we write the radical, we write the 4, put the 3 here and the 2 here. But, watch. We don't have to rewrite it like we did up here. Watch this little trick. If you just put parentheses here and cut it off there, bam, right. that's really saying the square root of 4, which is what? 2. So that's really 2, this is all 2, to the third. And that's just 8. Okay? So again, write your radical, write the 8 and 1, put the 3 here, put the 2 here. Now, cut it off. Okay? Cut it off. <clears throat> Square root of 81 is 9. So we take 9 and cube it. Okay, we take our calculator. We do 9 times 9. 9 times 9 is 81. 81 times 9 is 729. Okay, so again, very easy. Watch this step. Write the 32. Okay, write the 6. Write the 5. Cut it off. The fifth root of 32. Now, if you don't know how to do this on your calculator, it's very simple. Everybody hit 5 on your calculator. Okay. 5. So you're going to hit 5 on the calculator first. Then you're going to hit your second key. And you're not going to do the square root key. You're going to do the key that looks like this, that has a square root with a little x there. And what that basically is doing is saying, I want the fifth root of a number. Then you hit 32 and enter. Two, two. It is two. Okay? So this right here simplifies to just two, and the six just tags along. Now on your calculator, do two to the six. 64. 64. Two times two is four. Eight, 16, 32, 64. That's kind of this. Okay, now, negative. So first off, we're going to put a 1 over. As soon as we see that negative x, we put 1 over. Now, same trick. 81, put the radical, <laughs> put 3 here, put 2 here. Now, cut it off. Now, do you notice something? We already did 3 halves, didn't we? Right? Okay, so this is the same thing, just on the bottom. So this is going to be 1 over 9 cubed, so 1 over 729. Does this make sense? That's it. That's it. It really is. 
Okay, so as soon as we see the negative, one over. Put my radical, put my 27, okay? Two here, three here. Cut it off. Cube root of 27. Because you can do any calculator, you should do three. It is three. So this is one over three squared, which is one over nine. Okay, I see the negative, I do one over. I draw my radical, put 1,000. I put the 5, I put the 3. Cut it off. Okay, there's no reason to rewrite it, that's just silly. Cut it off. 10. Now I take the cube root of 10. I'm sorry, my bad. Cube root of 1,000, which is 10. That's 1 over 10 to the 5th power. And that's simply just 1 over 1 with 5 zeros. 10,000. <laughs> 100,000, I put four zeros, don't even, one of five zeros. One over 100,000. Okay, again, one over, put the radical, put 64, put the four, put the three. Cut it off, cut it off. Cube root of 64 is four. And then it's 4 to the 4th, which is basically going to be 64 times 4, which is 256, correct? All right? Yeah. 4 to the 4th. Yep. All right. Now, just kind of combining the last two lessons. Oh, no. Multiply first. 6 times 1 half. Half of six? Three. That's three cubed. Yeah. Which is simply twenty-seven. Seven. Multiply three times three halves times two. What happens to twos? Cancel. And cancel. That's twenty-seven to the third. Oh. oh. What's that? What was it? Thank you. Okay, we multiply. What happens to fives? But be careful. What happens to the negative? It stays negative. So when the fives cancel, that's two to the negative four. So that's going to be one over two to the four which is 1 over 32. Here we're going to multiply. What happens to the twos? Cancel. But it stays negative 3. Yes. So that's 1 over 3 to the 3. 1 over 27. Oh my God. Okay. Correction, everybody. I just choose the fifth in my head. Sorry. This is 16.